producers from me from me here 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 this way here here here, here. Got, here. hi bharti okay hi hi uh, this is for the producers uh, is there a figure you can give us for the final budget of the film and uh, how much did you make with the first one how much do you expect to make with the second they don't know yet no no i'm sure they've got a figure Lovely, Bharti. You've become a chartered accountant now. <laughs> you want all Married that. Married to one. <laughs> that, well done. <laughs> I don't have those figures. You have to ask the producer. Oh, yes. well, the first part, we didn't make any money. That much I can tell you. How is that possible? <laughs> because... Uh, Karan made money. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm a presenter. <laughs> Presenters always make money. <laughs> the ones who really put their hard work, blood, sweat <laughs> and tears into it, sometimes they don't land up making money. But you know, the equity the film has raised is beyond even the monetary worth. But I know, I would understand why you want a technical, um, but I think you're getting nothing from this panel. <laughs> but Karan, Karan does the he, presenter no, no, not finish? He has finished, he's going to tell me. Yeah. yeah, the second one, we will make a lot of money, <laughs> which will compensate for what we didn't make in the first part. Yay. <laughs> What's the budget? Yay. What's the budget? Uh, budget budget of both the parts together is in the range of 400 plus crores, around 450 crores. Thank you. Karan, does the presenter not share the royalty? Sorry? Does the presenter <laughs> not share the royalty? We share love, ma'am. We don't share anything else. Okay, one, qu <laughs> one question to Prabhas. Prabhas, did you break your bones this time? No. Uh, last time you were like, yeah, you know? Yeah, last time we did So what was time. your experience this time with the, all that uh, <laughs> stunts and actions, you know? Yeah, actually this time Rajmuli took a lot of care of me, like... Uh, Actually, like he planned very well, and even the action scenes. We had a lot of action scenes, but still, uh, they, he edited the action scenes before, uh, and uh, everything, most of the film. And I think second part was much, much, much more comfortable. And Rajmuli especially took a lot of big care. Thank you. Uh, Prabhas, uh, Prabhas, beach me uh, Rana ki film aayi thi, The Gazi Attack. Aapne bhi kuch Hindi ya Bollywood ki filmon ke liye plan kiya hai ya kuch? Scripts pe baat chal hai, agar aap share karna chahe. Yeah, if something like that, I'll let you know next time when we meet. <laughs> uh, Raja Mali, sir. Yeah. Uh, Raja Mali, sir, uh, after the release of Bahubali 1, a lot of trolls were made on social media as to why Katapa killed Bahubali. So what was your reaction initially? And did those trolls create uh, any pressure to you know focus more and make the second part more larger? Uh, uh, the amount of trolls that you get uh, 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 on your film is directly proportional to the craze that you have on the film. That is what I believe. So then whether it's good or bad, however people discuss, if the people are discussing a lot about your film, that means that it's made a lot of impact on them. So that is how I, how I view it. No, it doesn't create pressure. It gives me a lot of confidence that my, so many people are going to watch my, uh, my second film on the, se on the first day of the release. It guarantees openings. We have last two questions, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I wanted to ask one more. Yeah, but Again, about figures, but different, uh, different kind. Prabhas and Rana, uh, you have fantastic physiques on the screen. Is that computer generated or is it for real? And how will we know? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm serious. I'd like to know. Well, I had no job. Both of us had no jobs for about five years, except training and looking like what we look in this film. Ma'am, it's not computer generated. It's it's human generated. It's, it's pretty real. You, Prabhas? Yeah. Also, I'm speaking for the both of us. For him. So, uh, Raja, okay, sir, we a have question to you here. Yes. You Raja, proof. sir. Proof. You, need proof. you need proof? <laughs> the 28th of April, ma'am. <laughs> All will be revealed. Raja, Pun sir, intended. on your right, Raja, sir. <laughs> sir, right here. So, we saw the trailer, second trailer. Raja, sir, you're right, on your right. So there's a scene which is similar to Hercules, sir. Uh, Dwayne Johnson, where he's coming with the open arm and the bows are coming to him, sir. So uh, there are a few more scenes also that have been similar to another movie. So there's a scene in the uh, in the trailer that has been he's standing with the open arm and uh, bows are coming to him. So it's the same scene from Hercules, uh, Dwayne Johnson. Sir. So you felt like that? Did you feel like that? So kind of, sir. You kind of. So yeah, you watch the film and let me know. See, when we make war films or when, when we make any kind of action films and there are so many shots like arrows coming, bows, bows shooting arrows or horses coming or elephants coming. It's the same kind of war. War is the same. How you put your shots through it uh, is matters. If you think one, one arrow shot is looking like the same thing here, uh, I feel funny actually answering that question. <laughs>
Uh, Rajamouli sir. Okay, that's the last yeah. question, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Okay, I have two questions. Uh, okay. First is Rajamouli sir. Uh, the Tamil version of the trailer was leaked. So, would there be any kind of measures that you would be uh, taking to battle piracy? You know, when it comes to the movie release. Uh, there are two things here. One is leakage, and one is piracy. But both are completely different. Uh, uh, piracy happens when someone, uh, after the release of the film, someone captures it in one mode or other and and puts it online and and uh, uh, make money out of it, or or they don't. Whatever. That is piracy. Leakage is something when, during the film, some someone inside the uh, inside the crew, someone inside the studios, or someone uh, uh, captures and puts it on the social media or on or, or whatever platform just to the fun of it. Both are completely different. And this particular thing is neither. It is some technical glitch in the in the Facebook. The video, which is supposed to be in the private mode, uh, uh, went into public mode. We still exactly don't know what is what is the reason, but but it. Uh, uh, but it changed the plans. But anyway, we are happy with it because the kind of uh, response that we uh, we got, uh, uh, we are very happy with it. And fans are really, really happy because I always tend to postpone the date. I always tend to uh, come later, and that I came uh, much earlier than <laughs> than what I said. They are quite happy about it. So uh, all is well. That went well. My second Thank question is oh. to both Karan and Rajmouli, sir. The attack which happened on Bansali, sir, you know, again for the second time. Do you think it's sad that you know filmmakers in today's time have to face these kind of attacks often, and there's nothing that one can do? Um, I have gone on record and spoken about what happened with Sanjay, and uh, it's deeply saddening to me as a filmmaker, as a human being, as a citizen of our of our prestigious and wonderful country, that we have to kind of endure something like this, and my my thoughts, my support, and all my ideologies are with Sanjay. Uh, it's deeply saddening. What do I say? Every time I read um, something like this, it really saddens me. And there's and I feel like we on our on our level between the producers guild, we've sat down. We're all in support with Sanjay and his entire cast and crew. And I hope that adequate measures can be taken that something like this would never happen to another filmmaker again in our land. I completely agree with uh, uh, Karan on, on that one. Uh, uh, any artist, filmmaker or not, a musician or a writer or anyone, uh, he should be have, uh, whether that's good or bad, we, we don't know yet. First, first thing is we don't yet know what, what uh, Mr. Bansal is going to present. And even whatever his presence is not in tune with uh, the people, uh, uh, people's thoughts, uh, he's, a, he's an artist. He should be able to express his views. Uh, uh, the freedom of speech is is uh, one of the fundamental right of the people of this country. He should be able to express any any filmmaker, any artist, for that matter of matter, should be able to express his his views. Uh, I have a Thank question. I have a question. Yeah. Karan, this one is not from your face. Current towards your Th left. Ladies, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I'm very well. Thank you. Uh, I'm doing very well, and the babies are doing very well. Thank you so much for asking. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, I'd like to call this to a, an, an end, and thank you so much. From the bottom of our hearts, the entire cast and crew of Bahubali, and all of us in Mumbai, I really thank you for your enormous presence. And oh, w one Here, second. Mr. Karan uh, from Mr. Rajmouli and team Bahubali, we have probably the most iconic piece from this film that we want to present to you. Oh. So please, this is the sword that Kattappa killed Bahubali with. Oh! Okay, so now I know what my kids are going to inherit. <laughs> Beyond my equity as a filmmaker, it will be this sword which will be worth a huge amount, I think, in years to come. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you on behalf of all of us. And uh, truly honored to be here and to have you in such enormous presence. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>